Well, hello everybody, Bill Shocker. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Welcome to Tamarindo, Costa Rica, and welcome to my home. Uh, I, I'm going to make the disclaimer again. You're going to hear this quite often. These 5-Minute Motivators are one-take wonders. Uh, I say that because I see there's uh, some of the uh, maintenance people in the background, and uh, you may see them uh, kind of scurrying around to make sure that uh, this condominium system is not consumed by the jungle. <laughs> uh, so just understand that uh, there's no uh, second takes for this and there's no production work done. It is basically just meant to give you some type of nugget of information for you to chew on for the rest of today. Uh, anyway, I, I've received a few emails. I, I, I'm, I'm getting some nice, email, uh, some nice emails about... Um, uh, the five minute motivators and people are bantering back and forth, cajoling me, asking me questions and it, it, it's enjoyable. Uh, but I, I got a few emails in yesterday and uh, within the first paragraph uh, three emails said the same thing. I'm worried about. And I thought, hmm, you know what, I'm starting to see some type of um, of a pattern here about worrying. So I thought it would actually be worth the real estate of a five minute motivator, the time necessary to discuss worry. Now, uh, I'm going to take you back to a concept uh, by Dale Carnegie. Everybody knows Dale Carnegie for his masterwork, How to Win Friends and Influence People. But what you may not know is Dale Carnegie has written several other books. One book in particular that he wrote was How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Now this book is about, I don't know, 85, 90 years old by this point in time. But yet the information in there is still very relevant. Let me discuss a concept uh, in that book, and maybe this could assist you in terms of uh, dissipating worry in your life. Here's what Carnegie said. What is the worst possible thing that could happen in terms of the situation that you're, that you're, you're worried about? What's the worst possible thing? Okay, do you have that in your mind? Now, think about how you're feeling over that worst possible thing happening. Are you dead? Did your family leave you? Did the government SWAT team come down and pick you up and took you to a federal prison where you're going to spend the rest of your life breaking rocks? Chances are the answer to those three questions are no, no, and no. Think about the worst possible thing that can happen in, this particular, in the particular situation that you're worried about. Now accept it. Accept that that's the worst possible thing that can happen. Feel what's happening internally. You're probably feeling the emotion of worry beginning to drain. Now that your mind is clearer from not worrying so much, put the power of that fabulous computer that you have up here to work to make the situation less than the worst that can happen. At this point, you now have accepted the worst possible circumstance. At this point, what you want to do is everything in your power to correct it, to make it better. The Carnegie approach, it's been around 90 years. But I want you to think about the value of this. What we're doing is we are replacing emotion with logic. And in this case, it makes a lot of sense to do that. You're gonna, you hear me talk a lot about emotion in this and, and why emotion is so important, especially to the intuitive process uh, of creativity. But in this case, if you're worried about something, Accept the worst possible state of affairs in what that something is. Feel the worry begin to drain from you and then do everything in your power to reverse that worstness, if that's a word. I think you understand what I'm saying. Now, as you begin to plan to make that situation better, What's happening is worry is actually leaving you in reality. So 
Ladies and gentlemen, the next time you say to yourself or to others, I'm worried about, stop. Just stop. Accept the worst possible case and then begin to change that toward less than the worst possible case. What you will find is worry goes away. This is Bill Shaka thanking you for listening to yet another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Ladies and gentlemen, please like, share, and comment on this video to uh, ensure maximum exposure. I really appreciate it. Thanks much. Talk soon. Bye-bye.